Hey guys, so we are in the hotel in Banff. We're staying at the Moose and Suites, really close to the downtown strip in Banff. Such a beautiful hotel. They have a hot tub, like a whole bunch of hot tubs actually on the roof. It's super snowy out. It looks so beautiful outside. We'll show you a little clip of this gorgeous area in the snow. Last night we went to the Banff Craft Beer Festival, which was so much fun. It was kind of cool. It was half outside, half like inside a tent. Lots of food vendors, lots of breweries, a lot smaller than a lot of their other events like the Calgary or the Edmonton Beer Fest, but still a ton of fun. And today we are off to the Banff Gondola. We're going to take that up Sulphur Mountain to hit up the restaurant up there, have a little lunch, and then check out their Christmas stuff. And they also have something going on called Night Rise, which is like a night light show, I guess. So we're going to check that out. Hope you guys enjoy. So we are now at the Bow Falls viewpoint, which is really, really close to where the Banff Springs Hotel is, the really cool, awesome looking castle hotel. This is a really good spot to come. It's usually not very busy. We're heading up the Banff gondola, hit up the restaurant and check out some cool views, some cool Christmas stuff. Here we go. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video about Banff, Alberta. I wanted to just give a shout out to Mona Walker who suggested in my last video when I went to Jasper, I'll link it up above and down below so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen that video. She suggested that I include a little section in these travel style videos that discuss how much these trips cost and just give a little breakdown about budgets. So all in all, we ended up spending $309 per person for this one night trip out to Banff, but we got to do quite a bit of different things. The majority of the cost was of course the hotel. This included two tickets to the beer fest, which I included some clips of. The value of those tickets was about $60. While we were at beer fest, we spent $30 on tokens. So you get 10 tokens for $10. So we each got 15 tokens and most beer samples were between two to four tickets. So the day after beer fest, we ended up going up the gondola as you saw, and we went for a lunch package. It included the Banff gondola ride, which is normally between 41 and $55 on its own. And it also included lunch for two at the Sky Bistro, which is the beautiful restaurant that has floor to ceiling windows all the way around and you can see the mountains. Unfortunately, while we were there, it was basically a blizzard. So we had no view 
of the mountains. This is the second time that we have done the lunch Banff gondola combo. It cost $177 for two people. So after lunch, we thought we would just stay on the top of Sulphur Mountain, wander around until around 5, 5.30 when this night ride show started. And it turns out that you're not actually allowed to do that. So you have to leave, you have to go down the mountain while they set up all the lights and get everything going. If you go up the gondola for night rise on the same day that you bought a gondola ticket, it's only $25 extra. If you go to Night Rise just on its own, it's $67 per person. Night Rise was really cool. It was such a unique experience. As soon as you get in the gondola cart, you get all this cool like lighting and music and really it sets the mood while you're going up the gondola. And once you get there, there's all these different areas, all these different kinds of light and music just playing together. And it's such an immersive experience. I hope that they continue to do this for years to come throughout the winter. I really recommend it, but I would say to partner it with another trip up the gondola. So I definitely recommend going up during the day, having lunch up there or just going up there, bringing your own snacks and stuff and walking around. The first night that we got there, which was a Friday, we decided to grab dinner at the restaurant that was inside of the Moose and Sweets Hotel called Pancini. And we just grabbed some pizza and stuff and that was $60. We brought it back to the hotel room, we ended up going to a little cafe that was in Banff and just grabbing like a little cup of soup and a little bun and that was $15. Going forward, anytime I make a new travel video, travel style video, I will be trying to include all of this information vlog style while I'm actually there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Banff and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.